Hi everyone, welcome to how to do it. In this video, we're going to learn about heading tags in HTML. So I'll show you an example of how the heading tag is displayed in a website. For books, I think the first results is going to be from the Wikipedia. I'll go to Wikipedia now so you can see this page the book is defined as the main title and under the book you can see all the contents are written so if you right click this book and go to inspect you can see here to define the book the h1 tag is used so h1 open tag and the close tag is used so in a document when it comes to html headings h1 is the most important tag to be used in the site and also h6 is the least important we have heading tags in html from h1 to h6 you can use it as h1 h2 h3 and so on so those tags needs to be used in a proper way in the html document so i'll open a text editor now so in this document I'll show you how you can use the h1 tags in your page so I'll define h1 now and starting tag and how to define the closing tag so I'll say so here you can see I have defined the h1 tag now and if I go to the browser and refresh so this is the same file that I have opened this in the browser now so this file is heading.html you can see I have opened the same file here so you can see that this is heading one so I have used the h1 tag to display this on the browser so I can also use h2 tags now So now h2 is smaller than the heading 1 tag but still you can see both on the page and I'm going to add other tags as well now. The last tag we have is h6 tag. So here you can see now in this document I have added all the h1 to h6 heading tags in HTML. So if you go to browser and refresh so you can see all the heading tags are displayed now but it is in different sizes. So h1 is the main heading and h2 is lower than that likewise we have an order and in that order uh, heading tags are displaying on the browser. So when you are using heading tags in your page, you have to use the heading tag according to your content structure. You have the h2, h3 tags in your document, so you can use according to the content structure. But when it comes to the h1 tags, it is recommended to use only once per page because it will help you in the search engine indexing process and all. I'll show you how you can structure this heading in your web page. I'm going to delete all this now and I'll add one main heading for my document now as you can see now in this document I have added computer accessories as a main heading to my document so now I'm going to define some subheadings and some contents so subheading is going to be keyboard so now here you can see the main heading is computer accessories and I have used the h1 tag to display that and then we have the h2 tags as a keyboard and I can put some paragraph there so I'll just copy some sample contents from here and put it and then I'm going to use one more
So now in this document you can see the computer accessories is the main heading where keyboard and mouse are used as subheading to display on the page. So when it comes to the coding structure you can see h1 tag I have used to display the main topic of this page and I have used the h2 tags to display the subheadings. If you also have subheadings that comes under the keyboard you can use the h3 tags to display those. You can say keyboard model 1 and you can also use multiple headings when it comes to the uh, structure of your page you can use them accordingly so now you can see the h3 tag is also got added to the document so heading tags are very important to be used in the page but you have to use them according to your content structure as i showed you an example in the coding so i'll go i'll show you how it is displayed in the wikipedia as well so you can see as I showed you earlier the h1 tag is used to display the book and if you scroll down for this page and we have this title and we have this title so if you right click and go to the history inspect so you can see now this is displayed in h2 tags okay now these topics comes under the history so this must be h3 tags you can see h3 tag is used to display these headings and i'll check for the tablet as well so here the tablet comes under this topic so they have used h4 tags to display so as i explained you earlier so heading tag is mainly used to structure the page and to display the headings so you have to use according to the content structure of your page so it is very important to put the main topic in h1 tags and h2 h3 h4 uh, you can follow according to the content structure so this heading tags should be used to define headings in your document headings in your web page so you should not use the heading tags to make the text bold or to make the text bigger because if you want to make the text bold or if you want to make the text bigger you can use the customized style css cascading style sheets to style the heading tag provides valuable information by highlighting important topics and the structure of the document or web page. So you need to use the heading tags carefully to improve the user engagement in your page. So also the search engine like such as Google use heading tags to index the structure and content of the web page. So it's very important that you have to use them wisely in your page but in a proper order according to the content structure. Now to sum up, use the h1 tag to mark the most important heading in your page which is usually on top of your page. An HTML web page generally should have exactly one h1 heading tag followed by the lower level headings such as h2, h3, h4 and so on. In this video we have learned about what is heading tags in HTML and why we need to use them. If you like this video please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.